Hello everybody, today is day one of my own 10 day Valentine's Day special or holiday special, whichever it is you wish to call it. Now, this is from Forbes, which I believe this was last year. Now it could change because the current landscape right now, female gamers are more prevalent than ever. It says right here, the recent statistic, women represent half of all gamers globally. In the latest stats segment, video game industry as 61% men, 30% women. But it could be more than that. I'll look into this, the statistic later on. Let's go. Uh-oh. Drones, get to cover. You still got that tablet? Yeah. Better work fast. Okay, I got this. Come on, come on. Almost there. Partners trust each other, eh? We did it. Good job. Now let's get you out of here. What about the devil's breath? I'll come back for it. No, we're partners, remember? Can we argue later? Yes, do it, man. If we don't help those people, they could die. So could you. I can't let that happen. No. No, I got myself into this. I'm getting myself out. What do you mean you got yourself into this? Now, I'm certain some of you have watched this. It's... Well, let's just say this thing was a few months ago. It's old, I know. Every time I watch this podcast, it made me question things. So, let's react to this. Cricket. What about, um... Any gamers? No. Like, any esports chads? No. League of Legends, World of Warcraft? No. But I'm not Counter-Strike? I'm not opposed to none of that, but no. Like, what if they have a really good, like, micro? Like, would you be attracted to a dude who's just like... Micro, like, just going in, like, like boom, send a tech, like command and conquer, send a technical yeah. rush. I mean, GLA. If, if it pays USA. the bills, then yes. Uh, I'm still a little wrapping my head around with that thing. Okay, in case they pay the bills, what if they play casually? What about a YouTuber? I mean, esports, yes, they're the best. They rank so many money. I think there is one Fortnite champion, uh, Booga, his in-game name. He earned three million dollars. Let's sink into that. 3 million US dollars, if it's converted to Malaysian ringgit, it should be 15k or perhaps 20, maybe more. There are some people who has a spouse, some people who don't, but it all depends on preference. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so hold on. <laughs> but so you would date a gamer? Yeah, I would. Mm. Okay, but you primarily prefer like proper athletes, not like, you know, game gamers, you know? I don't really mind, I'm not particular Baseball? Picky. You got a baseball? Yeah, Wait. I have talked to what if you found out that gamers actually made more money than ballers? I doubt that. It well, mm. no. Asian gamers, are you kidding? In Asia? Like the, the computer game players make a ton of money, millions. I think their brain just short circuited, everyone. Do, do you guys see that? It's short circuited. Look, I know that most girls aren't like this. I know some of you who are watching this, you already have either a husband or or perhaps your girl as a gamer and you don't feel ashamed to it. So let me know and be open about it. An article or perhaps Quora. Let me show you. Do girls like to date gamers? This is from uh, Jonathan Jennings. I know it's a bit two years old. It says right here, I'm gonna flip this around. Women don't like boring guys who drone on and on about themselves, of their work, hobbies, etc. I know women who adore their gamer husband, boyfriends, their total nerd souls, their cosplays, their MMO guild partners, their partners who give random speeches about Lord of the Ring lore. But you know what women don't like? Boring men. God. <laughs> You got him. Now can we talk like human beings? This feels pretty human to me. I know what's on those drives you're stealing. Look at you, brawn and brains. You can't give Hammerhead the last drive. Once he has what he wants, your son will just be a loose end. Let me help you. What are you thinking? Stall him. Give us some time to find your son. I missed you. Glad we're back together again. Not like that. Shame. Okay. I can probably give us a couple days, Max. So, about your son. Is there a chance I'm- Later. For now, let's find him. When he's safe. We can talk about that. 
Keep in touch, Spider. Uh, MJ's gonna kill me. The number one way guys are boring is when they are so consumed showing off how much they know, how smart they are, that they fail to make the woman a part of the conversation. That's pretty much a valid argument. And this guy managed to avoid dumping a novel worth of information on the woman's head. It took time to learn. You could do most boring job in the world and have them OST boring hobbies ever. But if you know how to tell a story, you'll have people invested in hearing more about the exciting stories to tell about your boring life. Okay, fall back. Demons and Sable are down. Time to follow Lee inside. Ready. Why are you so heavy? And here it comes. <laughs> you harass my men, destroy my equipment, and cost my client millions. Give me one good reason I should not kill you right now. Listen. I don't like you, you don't like me. But Lee has your client inside this building right now and he's gonna kill him if we don't do something. We could fight each other, or we could fight Lee, but not both. <laughs> well, make your move. <laughs> Does this mean we're good? Mm. Will help me secure Norman. After that, I make no promises. Works for me. <laughs> Lee's out of control. Oh. You secure Osborne. I will talk to them. Oh. Here's another one. Basic. As a gamer, I can tell you from personal experience that gaming is a turn-off for your average girl. Gaming in many parts of the world is still considered a nerd activity or even something that only losers do who have no life. The situation is different for, for gamer girls. Most of them prefer gamers because they had something in common, but also because it's a way to spend time with someone you love doing something that you love at the same time. Hey. Hey. Where's Otto? Gone. I would not worry about him right now. He needs a hospital. No. No hospital. Feast. It really comes down to who you ask. If you're into dating scheme, I recommend leaving gaming out of context for a while. If you're into other hobbies like music, movies, sports, anything like that, it's best to start with that. I'll need masks, uh, gloves, right. whatever you have to sterile. You can thank me by not dying. Oh my god. Oh dear. George Casairos, uh, I might have wrong pronounced that. He's also a gamer and he understands that average girl or people in general still consider gaming to be a waste of time. That's just how it is. Where are you going? I need to find Otto. He has the anti-serum. <laughs> I don't know if I can beat him. Maybe you can't. Maybe Spider-Man needs help from his friend Peter. What? Peter helped build those arms, remember? If anyone can find a weakness, it's him. Go get him, Tiger. Let me point out YouTubers who have covered this. Let's start off with Pegasus. And also we'll start off with the Act Man. This guy gets really mad. He slams his controller on the ground, slams his headphones on the ground, and has this conversation with her. No, don't, don't. Why, why? 
Because this is all you do. It's not, it's, it's all I have. It happens to most people, and I don't mean all, but most. And not only that, some people prefer games, or perhaps they think gaming is a waste of time, which, do you blame them? There are some good thoughts in this video. Entertainment, right? I really don't know why it's so hard to understand and why gaming is considered like a childish hobby or something. It's just entertainment. If I've got to be his mom, I don't want any. Oh. I don't think he wants anything to do with you either if you're going to judge him for playing a goddamn video game. My ex did nothing but makeup and TikToks. There's nothing wrong with that. But she absolutely hated when I gamed. It made me resent her. So I broke up with her and met a girl who also games. Now me and my new girlfriend got a whole Minecraft world and we run duos on everything. My husband and I are gamers as well and we do our best to try and play games together. When we don't play games together, we recommend games we think the other would like to play even if it's a solo game. I've been married to him for 11 years now and I wouldn't trade him for the world. I feel like if you have a, if, if you enjoy gaming and you actually get a gaming partner like a wife or a girlfriend who also games, that is like the be a match made in heaven. You're going to have so much fun because you're going to have pretty much a best friend who's also your girlfriend. And you get to spend so much time together having all these wonderful experiences. So I don't know, man. Maybe you're just not compatible. Normally, we are all what's called typical st stereotype people living in their mom's basement. Or perhaps we typically play games and didn't see any sunlight. That is until 2020. COVID-19, where everyone, doesn't matter whether you're men, women, LGBT, or anything, they're all stuck at home. So what did you do? Simple, gaming. To those who have an internet connection or anything that can afford it, they play games. And most important, gaming is an escape. Pretty much everyone wants to escape. They don't want to see the real world. Trust me, even I don't want. I don't want to see. I just want to be away from it. But I want to show you Ackman, something that perhaps he knows. Try and think of the game development industry as a big clubhouse with boys only written on the front, right? Even if it's by accident, nerd culture does manage to exclude women and LGBTQ plus people in a bunch of different ways. We're saying gaming can no longer be this little boys club anymore. One of the biggest points people like Sarkeesian make is that gamers want to remain a boys club or that we don't want to include other people with differing sexual preferences or whatever. This is so far from the truth of what is at the core of the gaming experience. It may not be relevant, but I just wanted to include that as well. To just have fun playing what they loved. The idea that we don't want more women or people of color playing or making video games is just absurd. That's why we like seeing hot women in video games, because we wish we had girlfriends that played video games with us. So no straight male gamer would ever look at a girl that plays video games as something bad. I mean, if I had a girlfriend that played video games, man, Fuck making out, having sex, and all that gay shit. Let's go play Halo, dude. Let's fuck shit up in Dark Souls. Let's play a Mario Kart drinking game. You can see that. Even Ackman agrees on that one. Not everybody can have a girl. Like I said before, love is not something is to be forced. You cannot just force yourself to love somebody. It's not gonna work. And even if you did manage to get the girl, the only thing you have to convince are the parents, which I'm pretty much certain the parents of the girl that you just got really don't play video games or they have heard of video games but only hear the negative. But that's just my opinion. So what we learn is that gaming is for all genders. Doesn't matter who you are, girl, boy, or trans, anything. And gaming is for everybody. I'm welcoming anybody regardless of your preference or sexuality or perhaps race. Doesn't matter. All of you are welcome to watch my videos whenever you please. Even though you're just staying for a moment or brief period, it's okay with me. I'm just doing what I do best. So leave a like and subscribe. Don't worry, the other one I'll cut a bit. Couldn't find anything interesting. Come visit my previous video right up here with some additional playlists and their more relevant content will be in the description down below right here. Also, uh, visit my second and third channel. You know, you can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes. I mean, no, no. I don't. I not want to. But meaning, I, I, I do want to. But only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. Here we go, folks. Well, 